Support a free press, more important than ever. When I think of Veterans Day, I think of our veterans, I, I remember a quote from one of my favorite writers, uh, the Lebanese American poet Khalil Gibran, who said, there's no beautiful uh, or more meaningful, beautiful or more noble human act than defending the rights of others. And of course, I'm deeply appreciative of our veterans for doing that. And when I think of the rights of others, I, of course, I think of our rights. And amongst them is that most beautiful of amendments, the First Amendment, which guarantees our right to free press and free speech. Now, I always like to make a distinction. The First Amendment didn't give us that right. We as human beings were born with that right. We were born with the right to free speech. We were born with the right to know what our government is doing on behalf of us as people. The First Amendment guarantees and enshrines that right. And right now, as I'm speaking to you today, it's no, uh, it's no secret that we have a uniquely hostile administration to press freedom, something that comes directly from our president. When President Trump was sworn in, we started something called the Trump the Truth Tracker. It's still on our website, by the way. You can check it out. Where one of the things we would track is the instances of denigration of the American press by the president or by prominent members of his administration. And I think of the message we send to the rest of the world when our president says that they that he believes that that the press is an enemy of the American people. The message that sends to other leaders around the world, including autocratic leaders, for how they can treat their own journalists and get away with it with impunity. Pen America recently brought suit uh, against the president for his uh, violations of the First Amendment in uh, a few specific circumstances. When the president has threatened or has actualized the use of retaliatory uh, government action against, uh, against critics, his critics in the press, that's unconstitutional. And we actually brought that suit before what has happened with Jim Acosta. We have to reject the narrative that it's Trump versus Acosta or that it's Trump versus CNN, right? This is not a Kim Kardashian fight. This is about our right as Americans, yeah. as citizens, and as people to yeah. know what's going on in our country, to have the press Woo! bring Woo! that to us, right? It's about, our free, it's about the right to a free press and the right of us as everyday Americans to know what's going on. The First Amendment is on a piece of paper. It won't defend itself. It's up to us to defend it, to invoke it, that's something that Pan America is trying to do. That's something that clearly is what's happening right here, right now. Where it's people, everyday citizens, showing that we appreciate, respect, and we expect our government to uphold the First Amendment and our related freedoms. Hands up the press! Hands up the press! Hands up the press! Hands up the press! I, I think we knew that when the people spoke on Tuesday, standing up for our democracy, standing up to Trump's assaults on our democracy, that he would react by attacking the very institutions that protect that democracy. And I was so glad to see that some folks were ready to stand up in the face of those assaults. Yeah. And that when the White House put forward a phony doctored video purporting uh, to allege attacks on Jim Acosta, that people would know, and I was glad to see people quickly recognized the video had been doctored, uh, and of course, disheartened, but not the least bit surprised that the White House would continue to use lies um, to attack the free press. And it was also not surprising that this White House, in their attacks on the press, would especially attack African-American women journalists standing up and on behalf of our whole country um, uh, one of them who has worked here at the New York Times, Yamish Alcindor. Let's hear it for her. She has done some brilliant reporting and for simply the temerity to ask questions that are on all of our minds. Thank you guys so much for being out here. So many good people out here today standing up for free press. We need more. We need to keep doing this. We're going to keep doing this. We're not backing down. The free press is under attack.